Hello my 3D printing friends, my name is Igor and in this video I would like to talk about 3D printed objects coated with epoxy resin. I mean, why would we like to do that? Uh, here I collected some claims uh, from manufacturers, these are not my claims, and uh, not even from the same manufacturer. I want to, want to check each one by one to see is it valid or not. For this I prepared some test objects and half of them are coated with epoxy resin and the other half is not coated. And one of them is only half coated. <laughs> I will show this later closer. Uh, but uh, first, uh, let's see my uh, process how I prepare these objects. Everything was printed on BIQU B1SE Plus CD printer using uh, BQ Seal PLA filament. And for the epoxy, I use XTC3D. Uh, this is two component epoxy resin. I bought this myself maybe two years ago for some different projects. And very important is to analyze the instructions. And most important information is the mixing ratio. Uh, by volume it is 2 to 1, but I will use uh, ratio for the weight you will see later. And of course safety first, so I use uh, gloves to protect my uh, skin. And of course protect the clothes. And I open the window for better ventilation in the room. And then I follow exactly the manual, so I prepare the uh, al aluminum foil. And then uh, I use the mixing ratio for the weight, because uh, measuring the mass is much more accurate than the volume. And according to the manual, if I add some adstone, I can increase the viscosity, and with this, those uh, gaps between layers will be uh, better filled with this, and it will be stronger. So I prepared my test objects, half of them will be coated with epoxy resin. I pour it on this uh, aluminum foil. And I started with coating, I used some old uh, brush for this. I try to cover the objects as much as possible and then place it to dry on the aluminum foil. A uh, better solution is if uh, I can hang it up on some uh, wire or something like that and I did that the same with the rest of the test objects. And after a few days uh, I had my objects and I could prepare the experiments. The first point, food safe. Now this is the only point which I will not test in this video, because I already did that in an earlier video, you can find the link in the description. Uh, in cooperation uh, with uh, my university and University of Novi Sad, we did some experiment, we coated some uh, these test cups with epoxy resin, and they did some bacterial experiments on it. And because the biggest danger are those bacterial colonies uh, in gaps between those layers. And what uh, I can confirm for sure that, uh, yes, uh, CD printed objects coated with epoxy resin can be cleanable like any other smooth injection molded object. But that's not far enough, okay? So you must use food safe epoxy, food safe filament, you cannot use uh, brass nozzles, the printer must be clean, uh, mixing of the epoxy must be uh, proper, also the curing and you cannot have cracks or, or holes uh, when you coat with epoxy resin. Okay, so uh, yes, uh, this claim uh, is confirmed, so it's okay, but with a lot of other conditions. Okay, next one, uh, stronger. This is my favorite point. For this I have several test objects, and uh, this cap is coated with epoxy resin. This test specimen is for ISOD impact test, these two are printed in horizontal position for tensile strength and these two are printed in vertical position to check the layer adhesion. I'm starting with tensile test. Smaller cross-section area is 4 by 4 mm and this is PLA without epoxy. Coated with epoxy. Layer attention test PLA. Two walls, twenty percent infill. PLA plus epoxy. Uh, 
And the next test is the isot impact test. And usually PLA is very brittle material and I want to see if coating with epoxy resin will help to improve this uh, specification. I have here half kilogram hammer and it will swing to the other side and uh, after breaking the test specimen it will swing to a little bit lower position than the starting one and uh, with difference in potential energy I can calculate how much energy is used for breaking these test specimens. I'm starting with PLA. The zero position. PLA plus epoxy. This is the zero position of the hammer and this is after breaking the PLA test specimen and this is after breaking coated with epoxy. And the difference in height is approximately 2 mm and with this equation I can calculate the breaking energy. And these are the results on one table and you can see the difference is between 4 and 10%. The next claim, shiny. Well, I think it's quite obvious. Uh, so here I use the Polyterra matte PLA filament and I uh, coated only one half with epoxy resin. And uh, I hope it's visible on camera too, which side is shiny. Now uh, with this, uh, it's a little bit hard. I try to uh, coat only one half of the benchy but it is very hard to uh, do it in some holes or, or where you have some uh, small gaps or similar. Uh, so yes, definitely it is possible, it will be shiny, but it is very hard to access to all points if you have a very complex object. The next flame is waterproof. So for this experiment I printed these objects. Uh, it is in vase mode. You know, that's one continuous spiral, so the thickness of this wall is only one layer. For the looks, it, it looks quite uh, closed, but uh, we will see. So, uh, I will add some water. This one is coated with epoxy resin, and I will see if there will be any difference in a few hours. Usually the critical point in this case is before the printer starts with the spiral path printing. Okay, so the water is on the same level in both uh, cups and I will see if there will be any leaking on any of them. Ah, actually, <laughs> I don't have to wait a few hours. I can already see some waters here from uh, leaking on this side. This is time-lapse video. The first one hour is recorded. The time lapse stops after one hour, but I already got the information I needed. So what is important for me that yes, uh, as you can see, uh, object coated with epoxy resin is completely waterproof. Uh, this uh, paper sheet is completely dry. Here uh, I see a lot of water here. Of course, uh, visually uh, it didn't lose too much water here, but uh, what I needed here is this, that this has to be completely dry. And don't forget, so I use here the epoxy resin only outside because imagine some complex phase, uh, definitely you cannot access inside. So it's confirmed, uh, coating with epoxy resin only outside will make the CD printed object waterproof. And the last point in this video is checking is it more thermal resistant if we coat the printed object with epoxy resin. So this one is uh, coated and this one is not and uh, I will do that standard test I usually do on, on this uh, channel. I will place a small load which is M10 nut here and I will place it in my oven and uh, follow the temperatures and uh, I will check when we start with the formation. Uh, this is PLA so usually it should start with the formation approximately at 55 degrees Celsius uh, but we will see what will be the case with this one here. Okay I have to be fast before my wife arrives home because she don't like when I use her oven for this kind of testing. So the right one is uh, coated with epoxy resin and this one is just uh, regular PLA. Then I will measure all of the temperature with this thermometer. Uh, I did a review of this thermometer a few months ago. A 
unfortunately here I have some problems with the focusing uh, so I apologize for this uh, but uh, later I analyzed this uh, footage frame by frame and I noticed that the PLA started with deformation at 51 degrees Celsius and the other specimens coated with epoxy on 53 so this is not big difference here. Well, I will stop the experiment on the 116 degrees Celsius. Uh, boat feels like a rubber at this moment. Ah, it's a little bit sticky, the epoxy resin. So this is the PLA without epoxy and it's, it's like a rubber and it's acted like, a, like all other uh, PLA materials. And this one is coated with epoxy resin and okay no, it's not so sticky anymore but same rubber feeling like with this PLA. And now the conclusions but uh, it is important to understand that the different epoxy resin may have completely different results. Uh, but to summary my results in just in case if some of you just skip the whole video and watch only the conclusions and are you, I know that some of you do because I can see the statistics. So food safe, uh, yes it is possible, but it is not so easy because there are a lot of other conditions. Is it stronger? Well, uh, yes, but uh, I was expecting a little bit bigger difference. In my case with this epoxy resin I had only uh, between 5 and 10% stronger objects. Is it shiny? Of course, yes it is. Uh, waterproof? Definitely yes. And uh, about uh, thermal resistance? Uh, well, the difference was minimal, so I would say no, so you don't use the epoxy resin if you want more thermal resistant objects. Uh, if you need uh, something like that, then use different materials uh, like PTG or ABS, uh, ASC or something like that. If you have some other experience with epoxy resin, please drop your line in the comment. Thank you for watching and happy printing!